A couple of days ago, a student of mine in my private community said, Hey, Jan Bhai, you say the majority of your income comes from freelancing. So how do you generate leads for yourself? What is your lead generation strategy and how do you mail them? Although I cannot reveal everything, I mean, I can, but it will be a very long video that way. What I'll show you today is how do I generate leads for myself and how anyone pretty much like if you're an agency, if you're a freelancer, how do you generate leads for yourself? Hey there, I'm Jayant. I help entrepreneurs launch, grow and scale with direct response marketing. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I generate leads for my freelancing and how you can do it for yourself. So without any further ado, let's get started. <music> By the way, I use this particular website called Apollo.io. Apollo is a very, very versatile tool and, you know, I love it more than the LinkedIn sales navigator, which is typically used for lead generation purposes. So let me log in. Actually, I'm already logged in. I, by the way, if I, if I just show you their plans and everything, go to the pricing structure. You can find it yourself. And here you go. They have a $49 per month plan. And if you want to pay annually, it goes down to $39, which is fine. I think uh, if you just pay for the $39 plan, uh, you are basically paying $468 for one entire year worth of uh, work, so which is perfect. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that like with this basic plan, is this the basic plan? Yeah, that's the basic plan. Uh, you get about 25 uh, record selection limit I mean when you generate leads at one time you can generate 25 leads or you can save up to 25 leads you can generate a lot more leads than this it has a LinkedIn extension CSV report all of this stuff I'll show you how exactly all these things work it tracks your email for you it has its own CRM and you can also have like sequences of emails that you can generate and by the way I'm not an affiliate of uh, Apollo they don't have an affiliate system I, as far as I know let me see. Um, no, they don't have an affiliate system. Yeah, I'm not an affiliate here as well. I just love this tool. So that's why I'm creating a video around it. So let me just go into my affiliate. Uh, sorry, not, not affiliate. What the hell am I speaking? Apollo's dashboard. Because this is how it looks. And let me generate some leads for you. And, you know, that will be the topic for today. So I don't want to make it too long. I want to make my videos less than like five, six minutes so that it's easy for everyone to grasp. So, yeah, let's get started with this. So to search for leads, again, it's very simple. There is a search button right here. Go there. And I am at the $49 plan. In the free plan, you won't find these last four options available. These last four options are, in my opinion, the best options of Apollo. Uh, these are something that you find in LinkedIn Sales Navigator as well. But in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you cannot, uh, you know, sequence your emails. You can only send messages. Only for that, I guess, LinkedIn would be good. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. I, I don't like it many people like it i just don't resonate because i'm a very much of a cold call guy and i can even track everything from here so why not anyways so all right so first we need to figure out who is our target customer right so let's say <clears throat> let's say we are targeting people using shopify because i'm from e-commerce background and i work with e-commerce companies a lot uh, let's say we find uh, some companies such as, you know, certain companies that use this particular technology, which is Shopify. So this is something that you cannot usually get in the free plan. So I just, I'm, I'll just explore the paid plan here. So simply go to technology here and in the technology, just search for Shopify and boom. So you have 1.7 million, um, you know, companies here or people here who are part of a company who use Shopify, right? Great. So next, let's go to our job title. And oh, okay. Next, let's say that company is, they don't have a lot of employees, right? Any companies less than 50 employees, they usually need, you know, somebody in their team. I won't go for companies which are having one to 10 employees because they are too small to work with. I mean, I won't say no to them. Uh, but okay, there is another filter of revenue. So I'll just go there as well. So I'll typically, I typically, you know, pick companies less than 50 employees because they usually need more and more people in that team, right? 
And next, I want to see the revenue. And revenue is, you know, what I pick is minimum of 1 million is what they should be doing. Now that's done. Uh, oops, my battery is going low. Before that, this video would be recorded, so no problem. Next, I just need to find out the CEOs. So we'll put CEO in the search bar in the job title position. CEO, founder. I'll put co-founder. I'll put chief executive officer. So any company less than, uh, you know, 50 employees are perfect for this particular stuff. Now you see you have a list of companies using Shopify. So that means they are e-commerce companies. And, uh, you know, this is the list of CEOs of all these companies. They You, you have their emails. You have their, you know, the company um, information. You also have the person's LinkedIn profile. You can click in there and find out the person in LinkedIn as well, right? So... You can do all sorts of omni-channel targeting. Like you can send them a mail in LinkedIn. You can send them an email, a cold email over, well, email and all of that stuff, right? So what I'll do is I'll save this particular search. I would save it based on what I just created. Like CEO, I'll put a bar, uh, employee, I'll put E less than 50. That's employee less than 50. Then tech. Shopify and finally revenue one M. So that now I understood like okay, we are targeting CEOs, employees are less than 50. Tech that they are using is Shopify and revenue one million. So I'll just save this search so that next time I don't have to do all this filtration again. And these are like one time gig, right? You don't have to you know find it over and over again. Now you can add them to a list. Right. Uh, basically, you can you can have your own email uh, list here. That particular list, you can use it for. You, you can run drip sequences in that particular list and have email scheduling and so many other fancy stuff. So to do that, just uh, you know, click in this button. As you know, in the basic plan, at a time we can select up to twenty-five people. So I'll just apply selection from here. Then I'll add you know click on this list i'll add to the list i'll like and i'll create a list create a list of um ceo and we'll have e less than 50 then we have tech Shopify. then revenue 1 million Okay, this is a list as well. So saving search results and lists are different. So in saving search results, you just basically save a search result and lists, you you save them to an email list kind of stuff so that you can later on send them an email. Okay, so you just confirm. So these people are now added. Now we want to like, um, you know, remove people who are in that particular list. So excuse Exclude people somewhere. Okay, list. Okay, we have advanced setting here. We can exclude those people who are in this particular list. Um, let me just refresh it once. That list has not appeared. You see, like the same people will keep on appearing at some times. Uh, so we'll just exclude those people who are already added, right? So we don't want those people now. Uh, this is the one, yeah. 25 people are added there. So I'll just save this search again. Okay. So now it, what it means is all these people except the people who are added in this particular list. So that this list is not 25 men or 25 people. Uh, you know, it doesn't have those 25 people in there. So I'll just apply the selection. Now I'll add them to the list. You know, oh, where is that list? Yeah. And confirm. So right now we have generated... 100 leads just like that, right? But we have 10,000 more to go. So we'll just refresh it once or we can click on here to refresh this list of prospects. Completely fine. Anything. You can do anything. But here you got a big list, right? Uh, usually I, once this is done, once the list is full, let's say I have about 1,000 people in one list. I'll go to individual profile, check if they're hiring. If they are hiring, they are like very good candidates for this because they are anyways hiring for a guy who can help them with uh, digital marketing. And, uh, you know, you are there at the very right 
time emailing them so yeah so let me add these to the list as well so yeah so you see these are now 107 leads so what i'll do now is i'll go to their profile i'll go to their company linkedin profile i'll go ahead and check if they are hiring somebody so i'll go to the job section and see if they are already hiring you see they are hiring marketing managers right if they are hiring marketing manager i just want to see who they are hiring somebody can who can handle the entire team that's who they are hiring but they are also hiring for an intern okay all right so they are building their marketing team so they want a intern and they want a marketing manager so cool they are hiring so these are you know the companies that we would ideally work with uh yeah that's pretty much it i wanted to share how do i generate leads you know these are the filters that i use if you are not in, in the Shopify field, let's say you are a funnel designer into click funnels and stuff, just put click funnels uh, here and they will show the companies that are using click funnels. It's not a lot, but there are a lot of people here who are using click funnels. So you can pitch your services and basically land them, hopefully. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what I wanted to share today. I know this is not an e-commerce content, but since my tribe asked, here I am with a great video for you. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, let me know. I, I can create a series of video around freelancing, job search as well, copywriting and stuff. So yeah, I'm totally open to that. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.